Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School, Senior High School Math TV. So last time, we were able to determine the dimensions of the fundamental rectangle or the auxiliary rectangle of the given hyperbola. So what if we're now asked to determine the nature of the graph of the given hyperbola. When we say nature of the graph of the given hyperbola, it could either be right and left or up and down. So this is the direction. State whether the graph of the equation opens right and left or up and down. So this is my technique in order for me to easily identify if the graph of the hyperbola would be going right and left or would be going up and down. So again, if x squared over a squared is positive, therefore, its graph is going left and right or right and left. And if we have the value y squared over a squared, which is positive, therefore, we'll be having a graph of up and down. So let us now try to identify the given graphs. So I have or the given equations. I have eight examples here written on the board. Um, again, if we want to know whether the parabola is opening right and left or up and down, I will write it again. If x squared over a squared is positive, therefore, the graph would be left and right or right and left. If y squared over a squared is positive, therefore, the graph, the nature of the graph of the given equation of the hyperbola would be up and down. So that is my mnemonics or that is my key in order for me to determine the nature of the graph of the given equation of the hyperbola. So let's start with the first example. Let us first analyze. So we are given x squared over 16 minus y squared over 16 is equal to 1. So, which variable is positive? Therefore, this variable is positive. And we could now say that this opens right and left. Okay? So, that is how we identify the nature of the graph of the hyperbola. Just look at the positive term or the positive variable. And in that case, that is x. Therefore, that is transverse axis x. We, this is also tax. And if it is tax, remember, if it is transverse axis x, we could say that the parabola or the, I'm sorry, the hyperbola would open to the right and to the left. So I get confused. I always get confused whenever um, I start discussing hyperbola. Uh, I am always saying that it is parabola. So... I'm sorry for that. So let's have another example. For another example, we have x squared over 4 minus y squared over 49 is equal to 1. Just like the first example, let us first analyze the variable that is positive and that is x squared over 4. And x squared over 4, we have x. Therefore, this is transverse axis x. For transverse axis x, therefore, it, the nature is also right and left. I hope this is clear. So again, the nature of this graph is also right and left. It opens to the right and to the left. Okay, and for the third one, we now have y squared over 25 minus x squared is equal to 1. We are now given this example. And always remember that if a variable lack a denominator, the denominator, the denominator will always be equal to 1. So just like our fractions, if it doesn't contain any denominator, a whole number doesn't contain any denominator, therefore, in order to make it a fraction, you just divide it by 1. So this is now x squared over 1. Therefore, we have y squared over 25 minus x squared is equal to 1. If this is the case, so analyze which variable is positive, therefore, that is y squared over 25. And if it is y squared over 25, we could, not, we could now say that this is tie. And when we have tie, therefore, it opens up and down. So that is how we do it. So just identify the positive term. And that positive term will tell you 
the transverse axis. And when you know the transverse axis, you'll now be able to identify the nature of the graph of the hyperbola. And in this case, we have two um, transverse axes. It could either be transverse axis x or transverse axis y. If it is transverse axis x, it will open right and left. If it is transverse axis y or transverse axis vertical, from the word vertical, it will open up and down. For the fourth example, we have y minus 4 quantity squared over 64 minus x plus 1 quantity squared over 4 is equal to, to 1. If this is the case, again, let us try to identify the nature of the graph. But first, let us identify the transverse axis. Since we have y minus 4 quantity squared over 64, which is positive, therefore this is tie. And if it is tie, therefore this opens up and down. So this is the answer. Okay? And for the next one, so this is very easy in identifying the nature of the graph of the hyperbola. It is very easy as long as you know the transverse axis. Because when you have transverse axis x, right or left, transverse axis y, up and down. So, we have x plus 1 quantity squared over 4 minus y minus 3 quantity squared over 9 is equal to 1. x plus 1 quantity squared over 4 is positive. Therefore, this is tax. And when we have tax, the, the nature of the hyperbola is right and left. And I know that this is very clear to you. Okay? So for the next one, we have y minus 4 quantity squared minus x plus 1 quantity squared over 4 is equal to 1. Again, it doesn't contain any denominator. Just put 1 in the denominator. So that if you would like to solve for this one, you'll know the value of a squared. And a squared is equal to 1. b squared is equal to 4. Since the positive term is this one, we could finally say that it comes with y. And we could say that this is tie. And when we say tie, it will open or the nature of the graph will open up and down. Okay, I hope that this is now very clear to you because it is very easy to identify the nature of the graph of the hyperbola if you are given this equation. So let us continue. We have y squared over 16 minus x squared over 36. And if we are given this um, example, therefore, we could say that y squared over 16 is positive and it is under tai transverse axis vertical or y if it is transverse axis vertical therefore it is up and down and that is the nature of the graph of the hyperbola up and down and for the last example we are given x squared over 9 minus y squared over 7 is equal to 1 again let us first determine the transverse axis and what is the transverse axis the transverse axis is x therefore that is tax and if it is tax Therefore, we could finally say that the nature of the graph of the hyperbola is right and left. Okay, so I will repeat it again. So my mnemonics is just like this one. x squared over a squared is positive. Tax, it will open right and left. y squared over a squared is positive. Pi, transverse axis vertical, it will open up and down. So, in determining the nature of the graph of the hyperbola, all you have to do is to determine first the transverse axis or which variable is positive. And if, you're, if you were able to determine that one, therefore, you will now know if it is open right and left or up and down. So, that is how we state the nature of the graph of the hyperbola and I hope that it helps you in answering your module in pre-calculus under the hyperbola. If you have comments, if you have suggestions, if you have questions, do not forget to message me on Facebook. Do not hesitate to comment on any of my videos and I will sure, surely answer to all your queries. Once again, I am Engineer Jod Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.